Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. We will be tuning 15,000 to 16,000 kilohertz, of course, with comments and general descriptions of what you can hear uh, on these frequencies. With the Yisu FTDX10, uh, because on 15 to 16 megahertz, the uh, NFIN antenna actually performs better for me than my MLA30. So that's why I'm using this radio. And we're going to check out the different things that are possible to hear on this range. Of course, we'll uh, be uh, switching uh, AM and upper sideband a little bit. Mostly AM for the most part because 15 to 16 megahertz contains a very big international broadcast band that is used quite a lot, which is the 19 meter band. But there's a little bit of utilities and a little bit of things that are interesting in there. The uh, scan we're going to do is a scan that's at 20 hours universal time. So this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, 20 hours universal time is here um, mid-afternoon, mid to late afternoons, 4 p.m. So uh, we're going to check out the different signals we're going to get on this range. So the first signal we get, of course, is WWV. It's a little end of noise, but it's there. 15 megahertz contains a few um, a few time stations. You have the BPM time station in China. You have Ital Cable Italy time station. It's famous for playing music. So if you hear music on 15,000, you might be hearing the Italian time station. And of course, WWV in Colorado and WWVH out of Hawaii. Uh, you can actually distinguish one from the other. The male voice announcements for time is WWV and the female voice is WWVH. Now, to start my scan, I'm actually gonna go for a short while in upper sideband. And the reason I wanna do that is because there's a little bit of utility stations in the first part of 15 megahertz. One of the first frequencies of interest on 15 megahertz is the U.S. Uh, Air Force and U.S. military that actually uses 15016 as one of its main frequencies for the um, U.S. Global Command System. And uh, often you will hear uh, EAMs or emergency action messages being broadcast on 15016. Fifteen zero thirty four will often have a broadcast from the Trenton military Canadian uh, military broadcasts fifteen zero three four six seven five four the two frequencies where you can hear them so you might be hearing that on fifteen zero three four the Trenton military in Ontario here it's not often that I hear it because I'm too close for that frequency so very often what happens it skips over where I live. And past around, I'd say, 15.050, what I will often do is switch back to AM mode already. Some pirates sometimes, for example, Cupid Radio is one of them, will use the frequencies around 15.070 to uh, broadcast to North America. So there could be some pirates sometimes in this vicinity.
Colômbia já não sabe. Fifteen one forty is Radio Havana, Cuba. At this time, it is in French, and it has multiple different languages throughout the afternoon. So I'm not really sure on 15160, it's not listed uh, past 20 UTC. The only thing I could see is maybe, but it's a little weak to uh, kind of understand the language, maybe it could be the broadcasting of uh, Radio Algerian from uh, Algeria. Uh, maybe they're longer than the uh, time that's listed. It's supposed to end at 20 UTC. It's at 20.05 right now, so uh, possibility. Fifteen five twenty is Radio Exterior de España. It's another good frequency that we can hear. Fifteen five five five, the uh, only station, pretty much broadcast station that has programs in single sideband, upper sideband. Fifteen five 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 is uh, WJHR in Milton, Florida, which uh, broadcasts with roughly something like one kilowatt. It's not very powerful. Uh, they were stated to actually broadcast with fifty kilowatts, but they're not broadcasting with fifty. Uh, pretty much. Very, very low power. Notice how I use a notch filter. You see the notch here. That notch removes the tone that you were hearing. That if I would, as you notice. Propagation is not the best for uh, Voice of America, but 15580 is the Voice of America uh, broadcasting um, on this frequency from the, at this time, they are broadcasting from the, um, let me just check it out here, 15580. Uh, from Botswana until up to 2200 hours UTC.
15770's WRMI with various programs of all sorts from Florida. You said, Jeff, yeah, that's right, that's crazy. Nobody would ever... WWCR on 15825. Typically, this mostly is the highest station heard. I will probably switch usually here from here to upper sideband to go and check out. There could be some utilities just at the top part of that frequency range. What you hear uh, here is a uh, over the horizon radar that's broadcasting pretty wide, pretty wide. If I look at the span here and I choose a small, small span of frequencies, it should show up as a pretty wide band signal. You can see it all around here. Starts around here, the lowest part around 4904, and spans up to up to about here 923 so it's a big 20 kilohertz long wide signal This is a weather fax station. And this is uh, 5988 center frequency. It's the um, DWD Polar Stern fax station RTTY from Germany. And it says here irregular, so that means it's not always there, but it is now. So this is Germany sending out weather facts, and apparently sometimes radio teletype. So it's kind of cool. I'm going to send another chart or something. I think I'm going to put my... Uh, my tablet and try to decode it. So, uh, that's pretty much what you have from 15 to 16,000 kilohertz. Tune around, you never know what you can get. For example, I just got a surprise of the uh, weather fax station. We're going to check it out and give you the results in the next video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.